What you doing? Oh, you know, just photography stuff. <laughs> oh, it's <sighs> grand. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. <sighs> now that he's out of here, let's do a tutorial on how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. Let's make it happen now. I should probably turn all my lights back on. Hey, there we go. The Sidious app is very useful. Hey guys, welcome back to my very first ever Premiere Pro tutorial. Although you can actually do this on pretty much any kind of uh, editing software because it's actually pretty easy to do. Before we start making clones, make sure you stay till the end of the video uh, because I'm gonna have some special bonus tips and tricks for doing these kinds of uh, clone skits. First off, if your clones are gonna be interacting with each other in conversation, it will be key to plan out and script out uh, the whole thing. Now I'm absolutely terrible at memorizing things, especially at three o'clock in the morning when my brain is dead, which is usually the time I'm doing these kinds of things. Ice baths usually help with that. But unfortunately, you'll have to memorize the whole thing. Uh, that's why I keep these skits on the short side. It would help to have somebody with you to help read the other clone script, so that way you have somebody that you're actually interacting with. Um, but if you're like me and you don't have anybody to help you out, you're gonna have to memorize both parts and kind of play them in your head at the same time. You'll likely have to do several takes to get the timing just right. Uh, the one that I did for this video took about 15 times. Now having said all that, let's go ahead and watch the clip back again. What you doing? Oh, you know, just photography stuff. <laughs> oh, it's <sighs> grand. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. <sighs> now that he's out of here, let's do a tutorial on how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. And now, here's what the unedited clip looks like. You know, just photography stuff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. What you doing? It's Graham. Now that he's out of here, let's do a tutorial on how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. If you're like me, that was super awkward to do and even more awkward to watch. But nonetheless, it worked and it actually was pretty convincing after you edit it all together. So, let's edit it. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and load up our clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. Go ahead and double click your clip over here. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, doing the clip, there's a section of my clip where the light clicks on. And I did that intentionally as sort of a marker and of course as a reveal. That way I can line up both clips exactly to where both clones end up being exactly where they need to be at exactly the right time. So we'll wanna scrub through here and find the first uh, point at which the light clicks on. So right there, go ahead and press M to put a marker there. Go ahead and scrub forward to the next one. All right, there's the next one. Let's go ahead and push M to put a marker there. And now we can drag that clip down into the timeline. And my aperture lights are dying. <laughs> so let's go ahead and scrub through to the part where the first clone leaves the scene. So once he leaves the scene, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the clip right there because we don't need this part. Go ahead and scrub forward to the part where the second clone sits down. And we'll just delete that part of the clip there. We don't need that. So now you can grab the second clip, go ahead and drag it on top of the first clip. And those two markers should snap together. 
So now, both clips are lined up exactly where they need to be. So let's grab that top clip, go up to Effect Controls, go to Opacity, and set the opacity to 50%. That way now we can see both of our clones at the same time, and they're both sort of ghosted out, but now we can uh, edit them together. So let's go ahead and scrub to the very beginning, and we're going to create a mask. Make sure you have your top clip selected. Go back into Effect Controls, go to Opacity, and grab the four-point polygonal mask, and go ahead and create that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab both ends and we're gonna pull this over here, like so. And we wanna make sure, and you see the coffee mug there, we wanna make sure that coffee mug's not showing. So we wanna go ahead and drag over to about there. And let's go ahead and click this little timer here to start the animation. That's gonna be our first keyframe. So now we can scrub forward to the point where he sets the coffee mug down. All right, once he sets the coffee mug down, go ahead and set another keyframe. Go a few more frames ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and move this one over to there and move this one over a little bit because I don't want my head to get chopped off. Also, before I forget, let's go ahead and set the feathering of that mask to 100 pixels. That way it just makes it harder to see that there's a mask. And now from here, we should be able to scrub forward quite a bit. And let's just go through the rest of the frame and just animate this mask as the first clone leaves the scene. All right, so now that the mask is done, go ahead and go back to your opacity over here and set it to 100%, so now they're not ghosted out. And go ahead and play it back. Oh! oh what you doing? Oh! You know, just photography stuff. <laughs> oh! It's <sighs> Yeah! Yeah! You got it! Yeah! <sighs> Now that he's out of here, let's do a tutorial on how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. And now that that's done, we'll just wanna add a color grade. Um, I wanted to go with something really dark um, to kind of hide the second clone in the back. I'm gonna make sure to really lift those shadows and hide him back there and uh, be able to make that reveal when the light comes on. Um, so let's go ahead and ap apply that and play the final result. What you doing? Oh, you know, just photography stuff. <laughs> oh, it's <sighs> grand. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. <sighs> now that he's out of here, let's do a tutorial on how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. And that's it. See, what did I say? Easy. Now for the bonus tips. When acting out both parts, make sure you kind of keep a mental note as to where each person's going to be, because a dead giveaway is when you're not looking directly at the other person. Of course, that's gonna be really hard to get just right. Even if you look at mine, you can tell I'm kind of drifting away, especially in a scene like what I did where there's a person behind me and he gets up and he's walking around. One thing I like to do is set up my scene where there's a divider. And I use the chair. I use my desk chair as a divider. I also created an object that both of us would interact with, which helped sell the effect that there was actually two people. I used my coffee mug. So I came in, the first clone came in, had the coffee mug, set it down, and then the second clone came in and picked the coffee mug up and drank out of it. So the more little details like that you can add into your scene, the more believable it will be. Also, of course, changing clothes, so that way your other clone has a different appearance. Also, if you give the other clone a different character, I like giving my clones a different character so that they're not like, the exact same person. So the photographer is a little bit more obnoxious, he's kind of geeky, whereas the videographer is a little more serious. Sort of fun to have the banter between those two characters going on in the scene. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any Premiere Pro tutorials that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below and uh, I will see what I can do. I'm creating a list of tutorials that I'd like to do in the future and I would love to add your ideas to it. If you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to better yourself as a videographer or a photographer. <laughs> Subscribe and hit that notification bell, but only if you want to. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.